Montessori is a very special program because kids, they learn to be independent. They're learning to read at the early age. We have different activities that we use for them to take care of themselves. Early childhood development is where it starts. It's a building block to succeeding in life, getting better jobs, and actually finishing matric. The center was built in 2010 by BW. They provide the funding for it on a yearly basis. The earlier you invest in a child, the better the outcomes for that child, for the child's family and community. But we talk about high quality early childhood development. In the Eastern Cape, and actually even South Africa, we have the highest number of children who have no exposure to high quality early childhood care at all. So it was started as a great R center at that point. And then we basically decided to change the center to an ECD center. And the research was done in 2014. We wanted the best ECD curriculum or program. And after having examined a lot of them in South Africa, we decided on the Montessori. So we had to train teachers in that curriculum. And in 2016, we opened the center as a Montessori ECD center. And we've not looked back since. I heard from a friend about the Quezalom, so that is when I decided to take Brandy Data. The school was amazing. Everything, the teachers, the principal, it was just amazing. They made me feel welcome and comfortable to bring Brandy at the school. I love working with kids. I love this building. I leave my stresses away. The moment I get into Equazi, and becoming teacher Tendai, <laughs> that the kids they love uh, most. <laughs> the education they said it's excellent. She's a happy child, always tells me about the teachers, her classmates, and the friends. Oh, yeah, and the auntie that cooks at the school. <laughs> We've tracked our children and we found that they're doing very well, especially in the language uh, area and also mathematics. So we're providing an excellent education and what it means for the kids in this community is that they are given quality education and they can compete with anybody out there, any school. Unfortunately in South Africa today, 82% of 10 year olds are not able to read and write for meaning in any language. And that is the single biggest constraint to better educational outcomes because if you can't read, then you can't learn. There's nothing that we can do in any subject without literacy. So if our kids doesn't grab literacy in the foundation phase, we'll be having children that actually won't understand what actually is happening. So our Legacy Literacy Initiative is our initiative where we're trying to make sure that every single child in our community is able to read and write by the time they're 10 years old. We've done very intensive investments and interventions, starting with the literacy centers, which are run by literacy ambassadors, who are often unemployed youth from the township that have been recruited and trained and still doing ongoing training in literacy and literacy education, and hopefully they will become teachers. I started doing teaching in APID that's when I started to realize, no man, this is what I love. I got the opportunity to apply and work as a literacy ambassador while also studying. The LAs are assisting a school in terms of making sure that the knowledge is out of the book, the knowledge is in their heads. So the literacy program started right in 2017 and then it grew. So now the schools that the program would have and would be working with would be 10. Jameza has been helped a lot by this program. So this center is making sure that you are producing learners that can read and that learners that can write. You are very proud of our learners in terms of literacy. So one of the things we say at Volkswagen is that we have a responsibility to contribute towards creating the society we want to be part of, and I love that. 
The Community Trust was set up more than 30 years ago now, and it's now the main vehicle for our corporate social responsibility. We have a very strong focus on education and youth development. That's what we're really about, really contributing to solving the biggest problems in partnership and in collaboration with suppliers, partners, and experts. There are a lot of um, challenges that are facing the youth in Guanabuche. There are many cases of gang violence, drug and substance abuse, and a lot more cases of teenage pregnancy. Love Life tries to help the youth to focus more on themselves and building up themselves. So the partnership with Love Life is one of the longest partnerships we've had. And the whole aim is to give young people a safe place to go to in their communities in the afternoon where they can do a multiplicity of things. They can play organized sports, they can participate in, in drama or community activities, they can play games. They have a place where they can do their homework, but they can also learn skills. There's a computer center, there's a youth radio room, there's a youth-friendly clinic to deal with health issues that young people face in a safe and protected way. There's a counsellor, a whole range of activities. Groundbreakers is what we call a peer-to-peer -peer group uh, <laughs> leadership. These groundbreakers are trained in facilitation, they are trained in presentation, they are trained into how to work in communities, in community mobilization, and they are also upskilling themselves to be better citizens of our country. The training was a good experience. I got to learn things that I didn't know. I learned that um, I am very outspoken. There were so many things that were bought out of me that I didn't know that I can do. When I finished my grade 12, joined the Love Life team. I believe that Love Life is that stepping stone to actually get to you know yourself. And it opened up doors for me. And it always gave me that thing of, of saying, you could do this. Favorite part of my job is to speak to young people and to see their lives change for better as they make the right choices. The work that is done by VW within this community, really it's powering the future of our young people. We've provided opportunities to thousands of children in the Eastern Cape largely, because that's where our biggest footprint is in terms of our employees. The Children of VW Bursary Program is a high school bursary starting from grade eight to grade 12. We've also got a maths and science program, and then we've got a tertiary bursary program, which is broader into the community. I am Claire Butler. I work at VW in the finance department. I've been at VW for approximately 18 years. My daughter's name is Grizzly. She is my only child and the only grandchild. <laughs> Yeah, Krisni is very vibrant. She's well-spoken. She is a people's person. She knows exactly what she wants in life. I love accounting and numbers. I'm a first year B accounting student at Stellenbosch University. When she was in grade six, they had these extra maths and science classes and they advertised that at VW. And after that first Saturday, she was hooked. She was at class every Saturday. So when she was in grade seven and she was now still attending these classes, then BW now advertised for the first time that they're going to give bursaries for kids from grade eight onwards. And I was so chuffed because like, what? So when she came home and told me, Krisni, there's this bursary opportunity, you can go to Woodridge now. Obviously I was a bit scared, I was like, okay, but 10 minutes later, I took those papers and those forms and I filled them in myself and I think I was just so excited. They paid for everything, accommodation, her schooling, stationery, the uniform. It was hard to send her off to boarding school, but for me it was just, this is, she has to go. It's going to just open all the doors that needs to be opened. In South Africa, intergenerational social mobility is, is one of the worst in the world. So the children of VW Bursary, in my view, apart from just addressing the educational challenges, it was also about bringing workers and management together at Volkswagen, creating the sense that for Volkswagen employees in particular and shop floor workers, my child can also be one day an MD of Volkswagen. 
In my matric year for prize giving, I was the Ducks learner, and then at the end of the year, I passed with six distinctions. Chrissy currently is studying at Stellenbosch. She's living in Res. It's always difficult to get a bursary the first year round, and we've struggled. I wouldn't be at Stellenbosch University without the help of Volkswagen. They cover my tuition and boarding, and they cover my textbooks and all the learning materials that I'll need, so I'm really grateful for that. I'm loving it so much. One could say the purpose of business is to create value in society and in the world. So wherever you find Volkswagen, you will find that Volkswagen is involved in society in a meaningful way. I love my family so much. I wouldn't be where I am without them. My mom for going through so much just to put me where I am today, I really do appreciate her. If we are to survive, the country, our communities also have to survive and grow and thrive. There's still a lot of work to do, but I'm proud of the work that we've done.